Ok. Bon, xe tờ xanh hay chăng là... Okay. We can begin now. Okay. Okay. Now we already go live. Good. Good evening, our audiences here. Thank you. We are back again uh, with very important topic related to uh, education for women and girls in a remote community, to be specific, indigenous community in Cambodia. Uh, actually, uh, today we are very happy to have, uh, to be uh, joining uh, with us by uh, Pisei, Pisei, sorry Pisei. Uh, Pisei, uh, can you introduce you, yourself a little bit before I give a, a, a brief of introduction uh, uh, to, our uh, to our audience on our topics on uh, education access. So please, uh, please uh, introduce yourself a little bit. Yeah, thank you, Bong. Um, and hello, all audiences. Um, my name is Pisai, and um, I am from Ratanakiri province. Um, I was born and raised here. And um, nowadays, I work at a non-profit organization in Ratanakiri. Um, we specially works for education in uh, this province. Yes, um, and my role here is a communication officer. I'm okay. so happy to join you all here. Yes, thank you, Pisei, uh, for spending your time with us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the reflection is, is, is actually hosting a, a very important topic on uh, women's and girls' education in, in uh, a minority uh, community, uh, indigenous community in Cambodia. So uh, the discussion is, is actually organized uh, uh, in order to uh, try to understand the current state of uh, education access among women and girls in a rural uh, the indigenous community. So PSA is a, a very important guest speaker for us today because uh, uh, to be specific, PSA is, uh, is actually, uh, uh, you, are, you are a member of Prev community, right PSA? Yes, that's right. Okay, but uh, what is special about her is that uh, Pisa has broken the ceilings. Uh, she broke uh, actually a class of a lot of barrier uh, in her own community uh, where not many women and girls are able to pursue higher education. Pisa made her way to uh, uh, study in uh, first, first country you study in uh, which country, Pisa? Uh, yes. Um, in in twenty fourteen, um, I left um, Cambodia um, for Norway. So I was I spent two years to study um, high school in Norway, and yeah. then after that high school program, um, I went to the United States of America to pursue my um, um, bachelor degrees in uh, business administration for another four years. Um, I just returned to Cambodia in uh, 2020. That's great. 
So Pisa just returned from United States after completing her degree in uh, business administration, right, uh, Pisa? That's right. Okay. So she spends actually six years uh, outside the country and as a, a member of indigenous community, as a woman in particular, she has completed a very um, a remarkable uh, works, especially in terms of education. And now she's been working with an organization that support women and girls, as well as the other uh, disadvantaged group uh, pursuing their higher education and create her own, their, their own dream. That's why uh, we raised this important topic and uh, invite her to be uh, joining with us. Uh, actually, uh, speaking of, uh, of indigenous community, uh, Pisei, I would like to give a, little, a, a, a brief to our topic before we begin our discussion. Uh, if you talk about uh, education in general in uh, rural community, uh, for example, like uh, literacy rate, uh, according to situation of indigenous people in Cambodia reports, it's only 29% of indigenous people can write and read Khmer a language uh, compared to uh, the general population with 70.1%. This is uh, the report in, 2000, uh, in 2019. This uh, to compare in, uh, in general, it's not uh, specifically uh, women or girls, but uh, among them, uh, uh, they are also uh, uh, like 10.5% uh, of indigenous girls aged like 15 years or less get married earlier compared to uh, uh, my people in general. And um, further uh, for people aged between 15 to 19 years old, uh, 55 of, uh, of indigenous girls are married early. So uh, not only the education itself, but this, this discussion will look into the fact that influencing their decision to quit their uh, uh, education quite fast and get married uh, uh, actually very early. So this this uh, what we are going to look into, and then Pisay will be here with us to uh, give a perspective what uh, exactly is the problem and and what we have been uh, doing right now to address this problem. Pisay, uh, thank you again for for taking part in this, and uh, after this brief of introductions, I would begin with uh, asking you a very general questions, uh, uh, very general ones. Uh, uh, first, uh, how do you see the current education access for women and girls in your own community? You might be able to speak in, uh, on behalf of other indigenous people uh, in your own community in uh, the northeastern part of the country, Ratanakiri, Mandulkiri. Uh, Besides, the floor is yours. Um, thank you for asking that question. Um, as I am seeing right now, um, the education um, access that um, the government and the partner organization um, are trying to provide uh, a lot more than uh, my generation. Um, there are more schools, uh, more high school, like closer to um, our community, but um, that is still uh, limited, especially for girls. Um, yep. I can give you an example. Um, we all know that uh, it's a Cambodian um, uh, culture. Uh, women don't go too far from homes uh, without their parent uh, civilians or control because there are a lot of things could happen to uh, women. Um, yeah. And that's something that scared uh, the women themselves and also scared yeah. uh, their family, right? So um, these uh, are the expectations that women should not go too far uh, without any guardians, um, you know, uh, support or control or watch um, because anything could happen to them. Um, so what they could do to get education is that they could go to the nearest school in the community mm -hmm. or to the nearest community. Um, so that is very limited women from getting higher education. For example, if, if in the community only have like junior high school and now they are passing that uh, level of education, they need to go to high school. Um, mm -hmm. It's a decision that the family would have to make that if, if it is safe for their, their daughter to go out um, and pursue that education journey, or they would think that junior high school education is enough already. So this is something that um, preventing uh, a lot of, uh, uh, especially the uh, indigenous uh, women from getting higher education. I see. Yeah. But thanks, thanks for your uh, brief on the current state of, of, of women's and girl access to education in, in your own community. But, but can you highlight a very specific uh, challenges facing them in particular, for example, like 
you can take into account uh, culture barrier, poverty, and so on. So, so what are the main challenges you see facing them and preventing them from? You already mentioned some, but the, the most important or the main challenge ones that you see. Yeah, thank you. Um, first of all, I would say um, the facility, the education facility, like I said, um, is there a, a school facility in their community or close to their community or not? Yeah. Um, second is uh, the family economics. Um, is it good uh, for them to send their uh, daughter out there? Um, are they able to support them? Um, because, you know, when you live far away from home, you might need to spend some money, right? It's so different from living with your family. Yeah. Um, yes, and um, another thing is um, it's about self-decision. Um, um, yeah. do, do they... Are they motivated to stay in school? Are they motivated to go to school? Because a lot of time um, they would fall into like, I would say uh, discouragement to like pursue education. So family would not care so much. So yeah. allow them to drop out. And that is a problem because um, this would not motivate them to go further. And we all know that we all go through that stage of, um, of that moment uh, where we feel discouraged and we don't want to continue doing um, something. Um, so in this case, it would be going to school, right? So if you don't have any motivation from family, um, so you got um, discouraged and you dropped out. Um, yeah, these are the, the, the three main thing I saw that uh, women would have a, a struggle um, to get education. I see. So uh, if we talk about gender issue, uh, is that still remains a, a prevalent ones that uh, people are struggling to deal with? For, for example, you yourself, uh, when it comes to dealing with the problem that you face, being yes, women, um, being girls, and so on. Right, right. Um, I have mentioned at the beginning, like being girl is so difficult to yeah. uh, move far away from your uh, family uh, because yeah. they feel like it's not safe. Yeah. Um, you, you could have fallen into... Um, um, traps such as like cheatings and stuff which will trick you into something horrible um, yeah um, so I, I don't feel like a, a woman would not have any self-control or they would not get any support uh, from their surroundings so um, I don't understand why uh, they feel like women should not go far away from the family or yeah. um, they, they should not go anywhere that do not have relatives to to support them or watch over them in case they are doing something that is again the culture I so see. yeah i feel like um being girls is uh, difficult um in in um, a culture that expect women to be like a white um cloth you know so <laughs> Yeah, but but have you seen uh, some sort of changes in your own the, the evolvements, the alterations of the belief amongst people, especially maybe the the older generation, like uh, fifteen years uh, uh, older than this, or maybe in uh, twenty year older than this, and now the differences among them exist. Uh, do you see this kind of change among themselves? Um. Yes. Um. From from my generations, I see a lot of these, um, um, I, would, I wouldn't say um, discrimination, but like differentiations between boys and girls that yeah. um, girls would fall into something that is against uh, the cultural norms. Um, yeah. But now I saw they start to open up, but mm -hmm. I still feel like it's not enough because there's still something uh, lacking in there. Um, yes, they, they are starting to open to allow girls to go to school, but they didn't um, put enough support yep. to encourage mm -hmm. them to reach their full capacity of going I to get the education. I, um, I, I, I can say again, like you allowed um, them to get um, into primary school, junior high school. Um, then it's come to high school. Yeah, they, they send their, their children to high school, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, their daughters. Yeah. Then, um, then it, it's time for, for their daughters to move on to university or go to any um, training to get skills. Um, that's where the decision started to like uh, shaking. They, they feel like now if they go to university, they might have to move out of the province, which is 
even further from the family. Um, that might not be safe uh, for their daughter to do so. Yeah. You know, so there, there's something um, right there that I feel like um, as family, as parents or the guardian, they need to um, encourage uh, their, their daughters to, to go further. Um, yeah, especially motivation for them. Okay, that very interesting, and I think that's something uh, we have learned from you uh, because you you yourself growing in this uh, such uh, environments. Uh, but you yourself uh, again, you 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 change uh, the way. I'm not I'm not really sure if you are actually change the way people are living around you, your parents, your grandparents, and the other people like relative and so on. But of course, because of your achievement. Uh, they must have changed their perception toward you as a woman. Can you share with, with us, how can you, you actually make this kind of accomplishments and uh, how can you deal with these constraints facing you yourself? Yeah, um, thank you. Um, yes, um, I would say I have uh, broken um, something that a lot of uh, women in my community um, fears to do, you know, um, go out of the country to get educations on my own. Um, I have no relatives around me. I have no family um, helping me out, you know, but um, but those things um, somehow I, I overcome it because um, first of all, I, I got the opportunity given to me. Um, I got, um, um, I, I've got uh, somebody to support me to get the scholarship and given that scholarship opportunity to me. And then I have my family who somehow um, change way of thinking. Um, they, um, I, I would not be able to do that without, uh, without their um, uh, motivation um, towards me. Um, uh, I can give an example. Uh, when I first knowing that I was selected for this scholarship opportunity, um, my mom uh, was struggling um, a little bit with um, about the decision whether she's allowed me to go or not because I was under 18 and I need um, parent consent to send me out. Um, at that time, um, my, my mother were, was really um, scared and afraid that uh, this could be a scam. Uh, it's not an opportunity. It's not a scholarship opportunity, but it's a scam that might lead me to something horrible. Um, yeah. You know, like how we, we we all know from the media that um, when girls moved out, they would fall into like human trafficking or you know uh, those kind of story that that scared her. But at the same time, she was like, you know what? If uh, this is something. Um, you feel like right and you want to really get this uh, opportunity uh, given to you, then yeah. I support you from all my heart. Um, um, even though I'm not able to like financially support you, but with the scholarship benefits that uh, will be given to you, you will get through it. And yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll let you go and pursue that education journey. And yes, um, I feel like very, uh, reassurance uh, for mm -hmm. myself and confidence yeah. that yeah. I could do this. So, yeah, um, yeah to, to, to overcome all, all of this struggle, like financially and like um, social, um, how to say, fear that yeah. um, have uh, given to us, um, it, it is very important to have a family and somebody um, you love um, giving you these um, motivations and encourage, uh, encouragement um, uh, to help you moving forward. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that, that's my experience that yes. I have, yeah. Yeah, interesting. Well, I think our audience out there might, might, might be uh, wondering why it's a bit dark in my, at my side. I think we now have experienced internet, uh, sorry, uh, electric, uh, electricity cut out. Now I'm using my, uh, my, my own telephone to, to make sure that I can still uh, get to uh, the internet connection and also to see my face. So we really apologize for that, especially to our speaker, but uh, we, something that we unforeseen. So uh, sorry for that, but we try to make sure that it, it continue to go until uh, we end the session. So our audiences out there, please be uh, apologize for, uh, uh, please, uh, uh, I really apologize for this kind of, of, of 
inconvenience and uh, technical problem. But I hope that the electricity will come back <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. soon. Again, uh, Pisa, uh, back to your back to your uh, part again. Uh, do you think that the other people can do the same thing as you have done? For example, like uh, nobody maybe thinking, uh, trying to uh, sing, and then having a very uh, great ambitions like uh, going abroad, uh, uh, overcoming all uh, financial problem as well as uh, culture barrier. It's actually many people think of it, but when it comes to putting into practice, taking actions uh, to make sure that you achieve that, it's, it's not really uh, simple. So do you believe that the other people can achieve the same thing as you did or you have done? Um, yes, um, I really do believe anybody uh, is capable of um, doing what I have done. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe even better. Um, because I believe that everybody have the capacity um, to develop, uh, to learn something new, and um, and then to be creative and like um, giving the world an opportunity to change. Um, and I think um, for us in 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 Cambodia, um, I think family plays a very big part um, yeah. of our decisions and. Um, to guide us to what is right. Um, so I, I, I really want to encourage um, a lot of families, especially parents, um, to like, um, if, if their children is, is very passionate or having a, an ambitious um, or a dream um, to, to pursue something that, uh, that they want to do, for example, they might want to go out and uh, get a, a foreign education, then please do encourage them, you know. Um, um, you don't have to do anything for them, but you could, um, you, you don't have to like go out there and look for opportunity for them, but you, you can let themselves do it. And you are just giving uh, the motivations, the encouragement that they are needed, you know. Uh, it could be like in words or, um, yeah, usually it's in word, right? You, yeah. you motivate yeah. your children. Yeah. Um, you give them the uh, reassurance to make them feel like, um, yes, they are being supportive and uh, yeah. their decision is right. And if uh, um, you feel like your children's decision is not right, um, you, you could maybe giving some like uh, advice like to yeah. guide your children to the right directions because um, not not all people would have like an ambitious that is, um, uh, very into the right directions. Uh, for example, if for example, if they decided like to quit school uh, yeah. to work, um, you might not want that for your children, you know, because once you are quitting um, learning, you, um, you, um, the opportunity to grow, um, you know, um, to build skills uh, might be cut off. So mm -hmm. for, that that's an example. Um, like it might be it's a time that you could giving them advice and giving them some directions. Um, yeah. yeah, to to make sure that they are on the right path, you know. Yeah, that's great. So uh, people who are watching Pisay, you might have learned how she has been dealing with the things she faced. I remember that I interviewed her once uh, and write a, a feature stories about her sto a life story and her education. It's very inspiring. And I, I know that not many people are able to achieve the same thing like she did, but of course she, she, she actually uh, made her way uh, and achieved her dream. That's that very inspiring for me. Uh, back to, uh, to your uh, activity, your engagement with community. I think that you have, you have met many people, many girls who are having the same uh, dream as uh, you, you actually have, and you have been helping them. Uh, uh, do you think that you have done uh, a lot or there are a lot of work to do to help those people? And then what is your plans uh, for the future uh, in order to contribute to, um, to change the fate of those people? Um, yes, um, since I returned to Cambodia, um, one of the main reasons um, that I returned here because I want to use my skills um, and my knowledge for um, in the community that I grew up in because I know that um, we still have limited uh, human resources and I feel like I, I could be uh, contributing something that might be useful for this community to be uh, developed. Um, 
and, and that is why I'm here. And since I uh, returned, I have, um, um, I try my best, like apart from my main job to involve in um, any volunteer work. Uh, for example, working with um, youth group to, um, you know, to help giving them some um, um, advice and to contribute some work um, to, to, to what they want to do. And, uh, and as I am uh, being able to like go out there and get an opportunity to study um, um, in another country, I use this story to um, encourage um, my peers uh, to, you know, to continue uh, learning and keep fighting for what they want. Um, yeah. Because um, someday, someday they, they will get uh, what they are looking for. And as of my plan right now, I am uh, planning to work for any nonprofit organizations that work in um, education um, sectors so that I can um, um, use my skills and my knowledge um, to help um, those community. And I feel like um, my, my personal missions and the organization mission are matching. So I really wanna um, have the, this opportunity to help developing um, um, my community, especially Ratanakiri uh, province. And um, in the future plans, um, I really wanna get uh, further involvement with um, um, education. Um, I mean, I, I want to get into the education sector with uh, by working with the government. Maybe yeah. I could be a uh, human resources for the indigenous people, and um, you know, I could. Um, I'm hoping that um, if I work in this uh, education sector with the government, I could somehow um, help the indigenous people to to feel like. Um, they have somebody there um, who have um, the same cultural background, who come from um, the same tribal group like yeah. them, and they would feel like if they need any help, they could come to me. Um, you know, uh, when you have somebody working there and you could feel related, you feel yeah. encouraged uh, to to come and, and and get that. You know, yeah. and I think uh, this is the opportunity also for for me to, to be a role model and um, which could help um, women, especially the indigenous women to feel like, okay, if one indigenous woman could be, could take an, a leadership role in their um, yeah. government lead or something, um, yeah. they would feel like they could do it also someday. So yes, um, that's my plan uh, for oh, yeah. this community. Yeah, thank you Pisa. Uh, we know that, that the plan is, is, is uh, important your your plan is 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 actually big but uh with 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 careful uh, considerations and how you try to practice it make it into uh, uh turn it into action i believe that it will be possible uh back to your your community engagements uh of course you, you normally share your own story with them can you tell me uh, what are their reactions for example like girls and so on they might have heard this for the first time and then what should be their reaction or what have been their reactions um their reaction was like um yeah you get that opportunity because you are smart you are this you are that you know you are brave and blah 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 and i was like i wasn't i wasn't brave um i wasn't confident in myself when i first started looking for um, something I want to do um, back then it was that I want to get like scholarship it could be in country or outside the country um, um, I, I wasn't confident that I'm going to get this opportunity but I'm, I'm, I'm just like searching you know I'm, I'm just yeah. searching I'm just looking for opportunity um, and either I could get a scholarship to study in the country or outside the country I'll I'll be happy because it's also education mm -hmm. and um, I told them that um, they should not feel discouraged and mm. compare me to themselves that because I'm smart, they are not. <laughs> Everybody is smart. And if they have the opportunity, they might even do better than, than, I, do, than I did, you know? So um, the reaction of having, of feeling like helpless or hopeless and feels like they are not capable, um, it, it's just something they fear and, mm. um, um if if they could somehow lower that fear but yeah. instead 
um, looking for opportunity and build confidence and, uh, you know, confident is something you could build, right? Um, so if they are keep doing that, they would be able to like get something that will fit them and it will help them to grow as a person. And somehow someday they might do um, something that is outstanding. Um, if not like for the whole country, it could yeah. be something um, outstanding in their community. If not as big as in the community, maybe it's something outstanding for their family or relatives. Uh, to see them as a good role model, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, um, these are something that I have seen um, so far when I talk to a lot of girls. They would feel just like they, they like comparing themselves to somebody else. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, it it is interesting part, but to you as an an observer or people who are growing, who is growing, sorry, who is, is growing in this, uh, in your own community, you meet people, you talk to, to those who are not, who are still doubt about themselves, their capacity, maybe they, they, they're not capable enough of achieving the same thing as you are. But do you think that in the, in the next 10 year or 15 year or 20 year, your community will have enough role models to inspire the other? Or do you think that this kind of perception will be completely altered? Or do you think that how possible it is to, 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 to make sure that it will be changed uh, in the upcoming uh, decade and so? Yes. Um, I, I, I will look at, at the positive side. Um, yeah. I think maybe in the next five or 10 years, um, my community will have more human resources. And yeah. that is because they will make a better uh, decisions. Yeah. Um, um, and that is because um, a lot of um, um, scholars, um, such as um, 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 my friends and yeah. um, myself, um, we have been trying to encourage um, a lot of um, 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 our juniors, like, you know, um, to feel uh, encouraged um, to continue um, their studies either in junior high school or high school then to further going for skills um, yeah or um, university and we feels like as of now we have a lot of people we have had a lot of people who are going to that directions and we feel we are hoping that uh, we could somehow at least one of us train four to five people and there will be uh, somebody who will be um, helping developing um, this community and mm. if they are able to go out there um, in the next five to 10 years, we will start seeing them coming back to this uh, province and start taking uh, a lot of um, jobs opportunity and taking a lot of leadership roles. And they yeah. are, will be the people who are indigenous people. Um, mm. And it, it will be somebody, yeah, from this province. Um, mm. It will be somebody who care for this community also um, to take those job um, um, lead, you know. Yeah. So the, the, these are what we expecting, and we start to see people uh, loving to, um, you know, want to pursue um, all of this uh, education journey already. Um, yeah. It it's just the matter of like if they are willing and keep motivated to go as far as we expected. But we will try our best to keep come uh, encourage them um, to go further, and we'll try our best to support them uh, with like providing them the um, scholarship opportunity or like, um, are there anything that could, you know, um, lessen their um, barriers to, mm. to uh, go out there to get uh, the, the education that they, they dream of? Yeah, well, you're very optimistic about uh, the future. Of course, we all need to be like what you're thinking because focusing on solution, you will see more positive things, but if you focus on problem, there might be more problem to come. Uh, uh, that that's, that's would be the most interesting part and the most important part of, of, of dealing with the, the, the issue we face. Uh, speaking of the, the problem and the barriers uh, your community face, it's not just uh, in pro community, but the other uh, indigenous community too. Uh, do you think that who should be taking part in this? Not only popular, uh, not only people, but what about this other stakeholder? Uh, do you see those people, uh, uh, what I should say uh, is uh, their, their own responsibility in, in, in making change this kind of 
and dismantling uh, this barrier. So, so uh, can you share with us what should they do, each, uh, each uh, stakeholder? Okay, thank you. Um, I think for the stakeholders, as of the government and the um, partner um, NGO, I think they have done um, so much and they are continuing to do um, to do this. Uh, by doing this, I mean providing the um, education access to yeah. um, to the marginalized people like us um, who, who, who live like on the edge of the country, you know, um, they have done a lot. Um, from, from other stakeholders, such as local authorities, um, such as um, parents, I think for parents, uh, what they need to do is that they need to give uh, uh, the children, um, their, their children, especially their daughters, the opportunity um, to, uh, to, to get an education. Um, not only that, um, in, in the process of getting education, they probably um, uh, need to continue to motivate, uh, you know, because at some point children would feel like, you know, they are helpless, they are hopeless, they don't feel like why they are doing this. Um, um, it, it's their job to uh, direct their children, um, give them their directions, give them motivations, uh, children to, yeah, yeah, to keep going. And then for the local authorities, I think it's it's the same that um, maybe they, they could help them to um, spread any uh, opportunity uh, for, for, for those family who do not have any um, financial support, um, maybe yeah. um, such as like scholarship or something, or like um, they could also make an environment that is safe for girls yeah. to travel from home to school. Um, that would be something that would make the, um, the, the, the student themselves and also the family to feel safe yeah. like, mm -hmm. uh, for their children to, to be out there and, and, educate, and get the education. Mm -hmm. And another important stakeholder is the student themselves. Um, it is very important that they are um, feeling motivated. Um, they, first of all, they, they need a goal. Uh, mm -hmm. They need a, a dream. Yeah. Um, and a plan how they can reach that goals because without having all of these um, it's so difficult to know where you are going or what you want to be doing um, in the meantime to reach uh, that that particular goals for example in this case we might be talking about finishing school getting a job you know so what what are your goal and and what are your plan to reach there um, you know um, and also, I have a vision that um, school should have a consultant um, committees in their own school um, just uh, to like direct their students to have um, all of these goal creative or like creations and help them plan, you know, because um, sometimes we, we all can get lost um, in our journey. We don't know where to go. So if we have this uh, committee, the consultant committees, I believe that um, students would feel free to go there and get consulted and mm -hmm. learn about, or like at least uh, get some help or advice mm -hmm. about uh, what kind of goal they need to make and how, how they can reach there. So I feel like a lot of school, especially starting from um, um, junior high school and high school, to give these uh, committees um, in, in the school to like um, provide resources for students um, when, when they get help, when, I mean, when they need help or when they are um, looking for something to direct them. Mm. That's great. great. Great thing to share and then what we should do as a, a, a shareholder, sorry, a stakeholder, sorry, the stakeholder of, of, of this community. Uh, I think we have uh, like, seven minutes left uh, and then uh, once again sorry to our audiences out there you'll see uh, I'm, I'm still using the, the phone flash uh, to to show my face because uh, the electricity is, is still uh, cut off haven't seen any uh, sign that it will be coming soon coming back soon so uh, one of the, the I think we have two more questions for you uh, you talk about consultant you talk about uh, those who can offer other people, for example, like young uh, girls and women in, in your community. As you are part of the community, 
becoming, I think you are, you are the first uh, pro women, sorry, women to, to get out of the country and receive uh, the degree outside the country, for example, from the United States. So if uh, people want you to be a consultant, to be a, a community consultant, are you happy to have with that kind of work? Yeah, I, I will be more than happy um, to, to, to do that. Um, and just to be specific, um, when I return here, um, I have my peers uh, inviting me to join um, um, the, the, the Pro Youth um, um, uh, yeah. group. group. Uh, we are creating a group so that we can help uh, Pro community, especially youth, to like um, cons uh, conserve uh, um, Pro identity. Yeah. And um, you know to and also to encourage each other to like um, you know keep keep your own identity, not trying to be um, um, joining the popular um, ethnic out there. For example, in this case, it would be Khmer ethnic. Um, we want we want to make sure that um, uh, the young generations uh, um, to be of of their roots, um, not not to feel like uh, you are bro, you're not. You're not capable. Um, you 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 haven't done anything good. Um, you you don't have any fame from from your tribe. So I don't want to be this part of the um, indigenous group or something. So as we are from pro community, we we created this group so that um, we can collect like all pro youth um, as a network to uh, keep encourage each other and be more supportive. And yeah. in that group, um, I yes. Um, I have a role that um, I am almost like a consultant for them, okay. uh, but more like um, a, a person who has some experience that I share um, to to encourage them or to give them some, some advice, what could be good to do and yeah. what not, and also help some with some arrangement uh, inside the group also. Um, so yes, if I have the opportunity to be like a consultant in yeah. in, in a school or in anything, I would be happy to volunteer and help as I will spend a couple more of years uh, before I am off to get to take to do my master or to do anything personal. So, yeah. Yeah, that's great. So you have a dream to you're not a dream, but you have a plan to go for a master degree, but but not anytime soon, right? Yeah, right. OK, uh, as we, uh, we run out of time, uh, I have one last question. If, People from your community or outside community would ask you a question. Why women and girls like you need to have higher education, given the fact that you're living in, uh, well, uh, if you talk about the community, it's, it is far from, from the city, it, it, root, it, it removed and so on. So people give less attention to education. So to you, if, if, uh, what would be your answer to them to convince them that education is a key to changing everything, including their future. Yes, um, I think in this um, in Cambodia right now, we are focusing on giving um, women access to education and to get higher educations because we want them to be independent and uh, yes, we want them to be independent and 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 that is something that um, people kind of like. Um, could misjudge about women getting education because we just want to be independent and be free from men and you know just be free just be ourselves yes that is one point but it's also knowing that you are this uh, the citizen of the country um, um, you're not just doing that because you want to be independent but you are doing that because uh, we know that you are the human resources and you are capable of of um, helping the country to be developed so so um, I, I would say send, send your kids to school because um, if you do so, your family fame will, will rise. Um, who, who doesn't like to be famous, right? Um, mm -hmm. who, who doesn't like to be uh, recognized? Um, if you like to, be, to do so, um, if you like people to remember your family lines or anything, let your kid go to school and let them um, contribute to the um, to the work to develop this country, then people will start remembering your family and your family will start to have good fans and everything. And also, um, if women could also help, 
it's good, right? Because now you not only depends on your um, your sons or your 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 daughter's husband to earn income for the family, but now your your daughter will also going to earn something, and and that's going to contribute to your family also. And yeah, I think that is a win-win um, 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 uh, perspective. Um, yeah, to 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 the family to start changing. Yeah, that's a good idea for for girl to go to school and start investing in them. Um, I might be biased, but I think <laughs> when women um, get educations, um, they tend to do really good um, mm. in supporting family uh, because they have all of these uh, kindness in their heart that they like to help family. So, mm. um, and also they are very, very gentle and yep. very caring. So yeah, in, invest in, in your daughter's uh, education. <laughs> thank, thank you, Pisay. I think that uh, right now, this is the end of our conversations and, and uh, I hope that we will be inviting you again to take part in our discussion. This time we will focus more in depth on uh, the issue like uh, you mentioned earlier, why investing in women's and, and girl education it really matter in, in, in community like yours. So uh, I think that next time we will do it and then and, and really apologize to our audiences as well as PSA too, because you see uh, right now TV called problem with electricity cut off has been uh, maybe affecting our people who are watching this, but we're very, very sorry for that. Uh, we didn't expect this coming and uh, really apologize for that. Hopefully it won't affect the content and what we discussed earlier because we say uh, brought in a lot of, uh, of, of uh, insightful perspective as well as a lot more information about her community, her works as well as her contribution to that. And uh, Again, we we'll, we'll, would like to have you uh, joining our programs uh, again in the near future uh, when we focus on women education. It's not just a, a not more uh, 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 indigenous community, but uh, an overall education, uh, uh, women education in, 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 in particular. So you will have something to share with us. And uh, uh, again, uh, the reflection is uh, uh, English uh, discussion. So we offer space for young people, uh, those who want to share their story, uh, success story or, or not, it, it's not important as, because everyone has their own story to share, uh, their experiences, their expertise and so on. So our discussion is, is actually, it's about that, like we say in general, so uh, you, you can actually uh, see uh, what they have achieved so far. Okay, again, uh, thank you, Pisa. If you have one message to share before we end this, I was. I think that it will be important to 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 them to be women and girls. So, uh, beside, please. Um, yes, thank you so much. Um, yes, for women, um, I encourage them to have um, like a life goals. Um, it 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 could be. Um, it doesn't have to be like a job goal or anything, but they need to have a goals in their life, and that goal uh, would both help themselves, um, also family, and as well as uh, the social, I mean, the, the, the country and the community. So your goal um, should be benefiting both. Um, either you are going to private business or either it's going to be working for any, um, any organizations or like any institutions, your goal should be impact, uh, impacting a lot of, um, a lot of uh, areas in the community. And Another message, um, sorry, I'm going to give to you. <laughs> and another message um, is to the parents and guardian to like um, encourage um, your, your children, especially uh, girls to, to get as much education as they could. Um, I mean, as they, they are willing to, because yeah. uh, without your encouragement, without your uh, support, it is so difficult uh, for them to make any decisions because um, we know that young children are dependent on family decisions and guardian decisions. So if you are going to, going to be supportive, there could be anything and they could achieve um, a lot of things, maybe more than your expectations. So, yeah. um, so please um, be open-minded and like give mm -hmm. them like all the opportunity that you could. Thank you. 
Thank you, Pisay. Thank you, our friends out there. Still keep continue watching. Even uh, we, <laughs> yeah, you see my face, I don't mind uh, this problem. So thank you again, Pisay, for your time. Uh, thank, you. thank you so much. And I uh, hope to see you again very soon. Uh, take care. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you all. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Thank you.